What's up everybody, this is Karai Code. welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you guys on how to use Sony Vegas Pro 13 for beginners with the best possible render settings. Uh, this is going to be a simple and easy tutorial to follow, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you guys are going to want to do is open up your Sony Vegas Pro 13. Once you guys got that done, you're going to see a whole interface right here. Now, it might be confusing at first, but trust me, with practice, it becomes very simple and easy. It's going to be secondhand nature. So the first thing you guys are going to want to do is over here where it says preview quality you're going to want to make sure it's on best parenthesis full so click the drop down menu hover over best and click on full next you're going to want to click here where it says uh project properties click this and you're going to match my project properties with your project properties so it's on 1080p and everything looks the same so go ahead and pause the video match it up once you got that done click apply and click ok now the next thing you guys are going to want to do is go ahead and import your uh, video file. To do that, you guys are going to see right here where it says import media. Click this button and search for your file. Mine is right here, Life is Strange. It's a video game I've been playing for a couple days now. It's an awesome game. So I'm going to go ahead and render this out and show you guys how to do that. So click right here and drag this into the timeline. Drag your video into the timeline. And you guys are going to see this is what it looks like. All right. So... There are some changes you're going to want to make and things you want to keep in mind. So the first thing you're, you're going to want to do is right click your video file and click on properties. Now where it says properties, you guys are going to make sure that you untick maintain aspect ratio and click on disable resample. This is very important you guys do this. If you don't disable the resample, your video is going to look ghostly. It's going to be uh, jittery, lagging. You want to make sure you disable the resample. Do not forget to do that on every clip you, uh, you put in the timeline and click OK. All right. Now what we're going to go ahead and do is add some uh, color effect to make it look a little bit brighter. So let me guys, go, let me go ahead and show you that. All right. So click anywhere on the timeline and you're going to want to right click your video file again and click on video event FX. From here, you're going to want to go ahead and look for Sony color curves, which mine is right here and click OK. Now you guys are going to see a line right here. What you're going to want to do is where this dot is, you're going to want to click and slowly drag up a bit. And on the second one, drag barely down like that, just a little bit. So as you guys can see, you might not see a difference, but let me go ahead and show you. If I take out the effect, you guys can see it goes from light to dark. In my opinion, there's a pretty noticeable difference. You guys can see light and dark. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it to light. And now what you guys can also do is uh, add a fade in offset and fade out offset. So let me guys go ahead and show you that. So right here, if we uh, scroll to the timeline, you guys are going to see a little blue looking arrow right here where it says fade in offset. Click that and drag all the way up to 20 or 15, whatever you guys want. So my fade and offset is on 0, 0, 0, 20. Do the same thing to the ending. Scroll and set that to 20, all right? Now what this does, as you guys can see, uh, instead of your video just playing right away, what you're going to do, it's going to fade just like that. And then uh, in the end, it will fade out. Let me go ahead and show you. Bam. There you go. All right. Now that you guys got that done, you can also add a music file, an audio file, whatever you guys want. So to do that, just go to import media again, find your soundtrack, click open, drag it in and scroll and go ahead and just match it just like that. All right. And there you go. And as you guys can see, you have your sound file right here. Uh, you guys can put voiceovers into your video like the way I'm doing and whatnot. All right. So now. I'm going to go ahead and render the video. So you guys are going to see these yellow triangles right here. Make sure that this goes across the entire video from start to finish. This is your render point, what's going to render out. So make sure you do that, all right? Now, the next thing you guys are going to want to do is click this icon right here where it has like a little movie clip with the dinosaur. Go ahead and click that render as button. And what you guys are going to do is make sure these boxes are unchecked, which I'm pretty sure they are. And you're going to want to scroll down and you're going to want to look for Windows Media Video V11, which is going to save as a WMV file. Click the black arrow to the drop down menu and you're going to scroll down more and click on 8 megabytes per second HD 1080p video. Click this and click customize template. Now you're going to click on video and you're going to click on image size, the drop down, click custom 
and make sure it's on 1920 by 1080 on pixel aspect ratio do the drop down and click on square just like that for video smoothness drag it all the way up to 100 and now click on project right here and on video rendering quality select best now that you guys got that done you're gonna want to save this template that way every time you render a video it can just be a quick process and you don't have to do this all over again so right here on template you're gonna want to go ahead and put a custom name I'm gonna go ahead and put render and click the little save button right here save template click OK you guys are gonna see I have render right here I'm gonna go ahead and tick this uh, it's like a, a gold star basically your favorites and tick the show favorites only that way you have your render settings saved right there every single time you render so that way you don't have to repeat it and now just click render that's it now you guys are going to see that uh it's going to render out so just be patient give it a couple minutes to render um it could take hours depending on how long your video is and how fast your computer is all right guys uh once it's done rendering you can go ahead and minimize sony vegas pro and you guys should see right here the untitled video when i double click it it's going to play and there you go that's how it's going to look like now you guys might wonder why is it necessary to render out a video why do you got to do that let me go ahead and show you my original file before i rendered it if i right click and go to properties you guys are going to see it's 832 megabytes right now if i go to untitled right click and properties you're going to see it's a lot less 31 megabytes this is going to be a lot easier to upload to youtube it will take you a lot less time and that's how you guys do it and of course to upload your video you just go to youtube.com slash upload click on select files to upload and go ahead and click on your video and basically from here just title it to whatever you guys want that's all you guys got to do thank you so much for watching this was Karai code make sure you guys drop a like below if this really helped you out go ahead and comment below if you have any questions i can reply to and with that being said i hope you guys have a good one